So we are all Skyrim players here, right? The best Skyrim players all around planet Earth. And that's just a straight fact. And we all relate so well alongside each other. And we relate so well that we end up realizing we all do a lot of the same things when playing Skyrim. They may be small and quirky things, but we all do them. And if you find that something in this video isn't something you personally have ever done, well, don't you have plenty of time to go and try them out? So why don't we just head on into the video and get over things as quick as we can as this will be a short video. I just thought it was fun to make. I am excited in anticipation for this new fallout to be showcased at E3 in 10 or 11 days. My TH is on point. So let's keep on pumping out the Skyrim content until then. Also, I get to work on other stuff while I put out this nifty little video. So why the heck not man? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, did you know that my eek approves of you watching this you fetchers. So Riverwood is our first stop in our adventures across Skyrim. Our adventures which could take up anywhere. They may take us across the land to wide and diverse cities, take us to foreign shores, different realms. You can go and do pretty much anything, except play the loot. You can't play a loot in Skyrim. But in Riverwood, this is where most people's first memories are made. So what things do Skyrim players do? Well, we have many emotional treks to look upon. Like that time you waltzed right into Riverwood and decided that stabbing the chicken was a great idea. Didn't you learn the hard way just after when the entire town treated it as if you had slaughtered a child belonging to somebody? A living, breathing child. Remember that first trek up to Bleak Falls Barrow and trying to snipe the bandit against the tree before your name was No Scope Sven and you were great? Or fighting the bandit atop the tower, leading them to the archway and killing them so they slide right off because we I'm in Skyrim. That time you delivered the golden claw back to Lucan and decided you wanted back so you put the basket nearby on his head and his sisters. Is that Sven? Wow, isn't he just the most annoying character? Now he's dead because we're Skyrim players and that's what we do. You were bored so pretending to work at the lumber mill by pulling the lever and chopping wood was fun, right? Remember when you chose Fendel over Sven? Mostly because Sven was dead so you had no choice and you used Fendel to exploit your archery skill? When Camille decided to bring you to the bridge but get stuck just outside the inn because Skyrim. Remember racing to the lumber mill before rail off or hadvar so you could skip the really annoying dialogue you would be forced to sit through. That time a dragon attacked and killed everyone in Riverwood because natural selection obviously played its part. Hey, is that a cart full of lettuce? Let me just shout at it. Oh, what's behind the counter here inside this inn? Don't mind me, Og, Omg, Omna, Ogmar, I, I don't know man. Pick an easier name. Hey, is that my eek? 